Well, congratulations. As the owner of a new small business, you now qualify as a member of a select group described by some people as the engine room of the economy. So welcome to the club. Running your own outfit has plenty of upsides. Done properly, it can be both rewarding and fulfilling. The caveat that you're no doubt discovering is that it's not all long lunches and golf twice a week. I wish. If that was the case, everybody would be wanting to do it. So what we want to do now is look at the first two years, which is a critical time frame for new businesses. It's a fact that we see businesses start up only to fold within that two year period. Why? Well, there's any number of reasons, from over-optimism about the market, poor management of staff, poor stock control, and bad financial management. Here are the top 12 reasons why small businesses fail in South Australia. At number 12 is poor financial control, including lack of records. Then at 11, poor economic conditions. At 10, poor management of accounts receivable. Number nine, other, and we'll find out what the other is later in this presentation. At eight, fraud. Number seven is inadequate cash flow or high cash use. At the halfway mark, poor strategic management of the business. We're into the top five now, and at five, it's undercapitalization. Number four is industry restructuring. At three, trading losses. Dispute among directors is the second highest reason for business failure. And at the top of the list, failed deed of company arrangement. And we'll discuss this in more detail in a moment. So this presentation and its accompanying two-year survival strategy workbook will explore these top 12 reasons why businesses fail and equip you with the tools and information to avoid these nasties.